Hi Capricorn. Welcome to your October Libra season reading. We are going to go super intuitive. Um, we will talk about the cosmos as we look at the cards, okay? Because I know that there's a lot that's happening in your 10th house, which is your midheaven. Um, but, and this is why I was saying that, it's your midheaven, which really focuses on your career and, and your purpose and the direction that you're going in life and all of that stuff. Um, so there's a lot going on in that house for you, but I don't feel like that's what your focus is. Is Like, yes, it is, but it's almost by default, if you know what I mean. Um, and if you don't know what I mean, then I mean um, you're focusing on your career because you don't, you, you don't want to have to focus on anything else that's going on. You should be focusing on the other things, but you're focusing on your career by default. That's what that is. <laughs> Sorry. So, um, and this is this is the thing. The hard lessons uh, of deception that you're learning, and it's not even the it's not even if like somebody actually did something to you. It's all of the things in your mind that you're saying that they did to you. And even if some of the things they didn't do, and maybe it's a little bit of an exaggeration, that Five of Swords um, is, some of it is you lying to yourself, some of it is somebody lying to you. And then we have Judgment, and we have the Two of Cups. So... <clears throat> Um, the Five of Swords, Judgment, and the Two of Cups makes me feel like this had to happen. Like, it, this was almost the last straw. You know what I mean? Like, whatever is going on in, it, I feel like it has to do with a fire sign, probably. Like we have the King of Wands here. But um, whatever it is that's, that's happening, whether it's a deceiving of your own mind, like you're making things up that are happening because... Something changed and it seems a little really weird and there's got to be an explanation And so now you're like making all these things up in your head, right? And it has to do with another person or it's Actually somebody deceiving you Either way I don't I feel like yeah, I feel like you don't like you don't even want to have to um, Deal with it. I feel like there's this escapism that's happening but the, it had to happen. It had to happen this way. Otherwise, you would have just kept on going along and do, 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 do. And, and nothing would have changed. And there wouldn't have been any healing. You wouldn't have leveled up in the way that you're about to. You wouldn't have leveled up in the way you're about to level up. Okay? So we have the Five of Cups. And the sun. Now, this doesn't have to be a fire sign. Um, it could be um, somebody who has a lot of fire in their chart. Doesn't have to be a man, just because it's the king of wands here. This is a general reading. Take it how it resonates. Um, but obviously, so we have the five of swords and we have the five of cups. And then we have the sun over here. So the healing is starting already. It's like it happened you know, and, and now the sun wants to come out. And the sun is like the best card in the, it, that you can get in the deck. But when the pre-story looks like this, we all know that this is necessary. The healing is necessary. The sun has to come out or you just revert back to sitting in your misery or escapism, right? But the focus, your focus needs to be on what you still have, not what you've lost. And this doesn't necessarily mean that a relationship is over. A lot of this probably has to do with the fact that things had to happen within the relationship in order for somebody to have like a wake-up call. Oh, get it. I get it now. 
I see what I was ignoring before, and now that it's so in my face, which is like really annoying, you know what I mean? But sometimes, sometimes you just got to get knocked up over, like upside the head to be able to see things, right? So let's see what this Five of Swords is. I'm pretty sure that it's not just all you lying to yourself. I feel like there have been some untruths told by a fire sign or by, by somebody who has a lot of fire in their chart. Five of Swords. If it's not a fire sign, it's somebody who holds fire. Um, fire energy, right? It's somebody who is um, a little bit flighty and but but really independent at the same time. Can't really get a straight answer out of them. That kind of person. But I do feel like there was some kind of wrongdoing by them. Um, This had to happen. This deception had to happen to open your eyes up to make you realize not just what it is that you you want, but what it is that you actually deserve from the universe in a positive way. Like, what is it that you've been manifesting? Because whatever it is that you've been manifesting is going to come to you in, in a much bigger way now that this has happened. Ooh, it's thundering outside. Very interesting. <laughs> I don't know if anybody heard that, but it was a very low rumble. But it was almost like, spirit, like confirmation from spirit. Like, yes. There's so much more out there. But whatever it was, that, that, that whatever the relationship was that was going on, was holding back, holding you back from manifesting something new into your life. It was holding, um, it was almost as if um, you, you couldn't fully be you, you know? So, and I'm not saying that, um, I'm not saying that, you didn't have a connection because you did obviously otherwise it wouldn't have it wouldn't be so hard right um but what i feel like i need to tell you is that it's not the kind of connection that it's part of you really felt like yes this is one of those soulmate type of connections that's karmic and it's probably going to teach me a lesson but you went for it anyways. You, you did it anyways, right? Um, maybe that's not even the case. Maybe th this is just um, you recognizing that this connection that you have with this person is on another level. High Priestess could be a Pisces that you're dealing with too with a lot of fire in their chart. Um, but I'm feeling Leo energy and I kept on wanting to say Sagittarius as well. So either way. But... Um, This, this connection was on another level, but that's why you want to hold on to it so desperately and tightly because it was on another level. It, except, here's the thing, um, even if it was on another level and they lied to you, that's, it, this is all happening, the deception of it. Like, you needed to connect with this person for some reason, um, whether it was to help wake you up, whether it was help to help you on your journey in some way, whatever it was, right? But the, the, you're done. Your time with them is done. Now, when that time is over, you get the opportunity to manifest some things into your life because now there's room to do that. Whatever it is that you're trying to manifest. 
I hope that I made myself clear what I was saying because I'm like, how do I explain this to them? What do I do to explain this? And that's really the only way that I can I can say it, that yes, there was a connection there. You were not like imagining it, but it wasn't the kind of connection that you thought it was. It was something, you know, it's, it was one of those relationships for a season, not a lifetime thing. You're supposed to learn a lesson from it and then go on your way. Some of you learned the lesson, some of you didn't. But whatever it was that you've been manifesting can now show up into your existence. If you believe that you can do it. Let's see what this King of Wands is down here. A lot of fire. Okay. Uh, I do feel, and I was sort of, I sort of had this feeling before that the deception was probably a third party. And I don't typically go straight to third party situations when the Three of Cups comes out. But the other cards around it are really, because I feel like there are secrets and lies that are happening here. Maybe a little bit of overindulgence, some lying, and then we get the Three of Cups. See? If this would have been like the Ten of Cups and the Star and like all of, the, all of these amazing cards, I, I would have gone to a celebration. This is not celebratory. And if you look at this, this guy in the Five of Cups is actually focusing on the three cups that are spilled. So somebody slipped, right? Somebody slipped and now you're the one that's focusing on what you've lost. But here's the thing, you didn't really lose it because apparently it wasn't yours to begin with or it wasn't yours to keep. We like to think of people as possessions for some reason. Like humans like to think of people, like, no, he's my, he's my boyfriend. He's my girl. She's my girlfriend. You know what I mean? Let's see what this five of cups. People are not possessions. <laughs> They're not actually ours, right? Okay. So it's time, Capricorn, whenever this happened to you, if it's happened soon, you have to know, oh wow, I was going to look at the bottom of the deck before, and I forgot that I still have one more card. The bottom of the deck is the tower. Was, I'm still going to shuffle. We're not even, we're not even going to look at this. Here, I'll flip it back over. We still have to shuffle for the sun. Got lucky there. Um... The grief, though, Capricorn, of whatever it was, like, you can't dwell on it anymore. This was a cycle in your life. It was something that you had to learn. Unfortunately, you had to learn it the hard way. But with that world card, it's showing me that you're ready to end the cycle. So it's, it's time to do that. And the way that we end the cycle is we get into alignment with ourselves and if you would like some help with getting in alignment with yourself, I am offering a self-alignment course in October. The information is in the description box below. But coming to the end of a cycle and then healing this time. So let's see what the sun is. Okay. And I feel like this sun card, ooh, that's much better. The eight of pentacles. See what I said about, like, you want to be focused on work, but you're not. You're focused on something else. Oh, look at that. The more you focus, and here's the thing, is this is why I was like, work will probably be a good distraction for you. Because all of this, right, cups and cups and swords, all sorts of cups and swords, and then on the healing card, pentacles, 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 okay? It's not that I want you to get so immersed in work that you forget about life and existence and everything else, right? What I want you to do is allow yourself to focus on what makes you feel good and you being a Capricorn, 
when you are feeling stable and grounded, you feel good. Doesn't necessarily mean that you have a lot of money, but when you're focusing on your goals and you're focusing on your aspirations and you're focusing on what you want in life, that's when you feel your best. So that's why I want you to give your energy to. The Six of Pentacles will ask you, where are you placing your energy? Are you giving it to people, places, and things that aren't giving back to you? Or are you giving it to people, places, and things that are, are reciprocating? You see? And your healing lies in focusing on your growth. And right now, your growth is work. See? The more you focus on work, Eight of Pentacles, and then the Ace of Pentacles, the more benefits you will see. Again, I'm not saying that I just want you to like dive into work and not focus on anything else. I just, I don't want you to focus on the mess of everything. All the lies and deception and the things that you're, that you are constantly thinking about. But then we have the Seven of Cups and the Strength card. The more you focus on work, the more opportunities that show up for you. Um, I know that you're confused about the fire energy. I get it. I know you're confused about it. Um, I think that this fire energy was here for your transformation. Death card. And that's what I want. That's where I want you to go with this. That that's where I want you to focus on. I want you to focus on. The transformation of all of this and not necessarily on what that person did that hurt your feelings um it sucks i understand i've had it happen to me before i get it but there's no way that it can be changed what's done is done it's happened moving on you see So, again, I have that alignment session available. I also want to show you guys this beautiful ring. I'm actually wearing it. You can see it's a green jade onyx. And I want to show you guys specifically because one of your fellow Capricorns made it. It's so pretty. We have um, three sizes available, six, seven, and eight. The link to this is in the description box below. Um, on my website. It's a beautiful ring and it's just so simple and elegant to me. And um, I love the green. The jade onyx is, is beautiful and it's very healing. So I also have my self-alignment course available and join us for the weekly meditation and Reiki healing circles. It is a small fee to do it. Just It's five bucks to do it. Um, I'm only doing that to make sure to ensure that we just have good energy in the healing circle. Um, so, and it's weekly, you don't have to go every week, but, um, it's really fantastic. It's been really, really powerful. So, so hope to see you guys, um, there. Check out the description box for the Meditation and Reiki Healing Circle. And I love you guys so much and have a wonderful October. We'll see you later. Bye.